after I did my little iPhone uh, stunt, uh, Zakuda made a little fun of me, but I, I'm not going to hold it against them. And so they, they I, I was just having fun. I was being absurd, and I think that they knew that. Anyway, so they, 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 had, they had their own fun there. Uh, but this is what they're really doing. So they're putting together a lot of stuff that I mean, you're seeing is all over the place, where, where we're building up these little cameras. And so, so here you have a, this is a Canon 5D, and uh, this is the same one that I have, but mine doesn't look like this because it doesn't have all this gear on it. And so what you have is a follow focus here, the nice little follow focus. Uh, you've got your matte box here, so you can you can throw your little filters in. You can control the light coming in. Uh, I can get my little nice little uh, you know eyepiece here that I can make it work. Now a lot of this stuff all builds out. Also, you want you might want to have sound and record it separately. You can do it here. This is this is kind of an attachment that, that makes all of that work. So and and. All of these things you're going to see as we go from one to the next is like an erector set. You can just decide how you want to put it. If we, if we walk around here, you're going to see, I mean, this is one for a cannon uh, that's, that's putting that together. Uh, you, can, you can also see one here that's a little bit of a hand rig. Um, it's a, nice, a different kind of follow focus, a different way to do it. Uh, and it's very nice, I have to say, if you're, if, especially if you're doing like interviews and you want to kind of put stuff together. Now, this is getting a little out of hand. Can I, can yeah, I pop in here once we're going? Thanks. So now here you can see it. you got a monitor. I mean, this is turning turn it right into a video camera. I mean, you're, you're, it's a amazing uh, how far people are taking the 5Ds, especially in the 70s and, the, and so on and so forth. Um, but um, so here you have, uh, once again, you have a lot of the pieces in the front. You, you can have battery attachments. You've got this little piece here with the monitor. So all of these things, we're going we're gonna to show you a couple of these, but, but this is an incredible cottage industry that's building up around the film cameras. And this is done, uh, once again, by Zucuda. So we're here at Cinevate, and once again, another episode uh, talking about DSLRs. So this is, as I said, this is a whole cottage industry that's kind of building up around this. And here you have this, this great, it's like, kind of like a mini dolly. So what you can do is just kind of push back and forth. One of the things to get nice, smooth motions, I mean, you try to handhold it, you try to, you can put it on a big dolly, but you want that nice, small motion. A lot of times you don't need a lot of motion. You just need to add a little production value by just kind of just going like this. You get kind of a nice soft flow past someone you might be interviewing, uh, a scene or a product. And so this is a great way to kind of put it together. Again, sitting on a, I think this is a, uh, this is a 70, 70, 5D, all of these, it's, a, it's a still a DSLR solution. This is about, starts about $1,400. And uh, you can just attach it to these two, uh, to two tripods, uh, pop it on there. And then you're simply just, I mean, it is, it is just finger, you just put your, little, you put your finger there, there's no resistance at all. Uh, it's a nice little setup that, that puts it all together. Of course, they make a lot of other things here. They, they also make a matte box, like what we just looked at over there. Um, of course, you've got, a, 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 you know, you've got uh, focus controls, you've got a handle here. They do a lot more. Come, come over here, check this out. So you have, uh, here you have a whole shoulder rig with a, with a counterweight. So <clears throat> you can throw all of this stuff on. You have, you have a rack here that's going to be able to control when you're working with your matte box, when you put, want to put other stuff on it. Uh, you've got a follow focus here. Come over here and check this out. So you've got a, uh, you got your follow focus here, which is, they're all, they do all the same thing. It just depends on what, how you want to do it. Uh, of course, monitor control. So you're seeing the monitor up here. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways you can configure it. And I think we're just going to see more and more of these because you're still getting a video quality uh, out of, now this one's also using a converter, just like we'd see with a Red Rocks or a Zakuto. Um, but, but all of these things are, uh, they, they give you a different view. And, and this, uh, it's amazing the industry that's building up around taking small cameras and making them big. Once again, this is Cinevate. So we're continuing our DSLR adventure here, and you can see that this is, once again, taking a DSLR where it's not gone very often. Well, actually, it's gone there often now. Uh, this is something that's very, very popular, uh, and, and something I actually have. So uh, this is the um, Red Rocks Micro, and you know that I love Red Rocks Micro. We've got a bunch of their stuff, and uh, we shoot a, lot of, uh, shoot a lot with it, and you have the little follow focus here. So what happens is you can throw this on, you go to shoulder mount, and some of you saw an older version. I think when I did the iPhone uh, piece, it was a much older version and very rough looking. There's a counterweight in the back. Uh, you've got some grips, so it really, you can sit there, you've got your eyepiece, so you can really see what you're doing uh, and get rid of all the extra light that's outside. Uh, and, then, and then you sit there and you can have your follow focus here and uh, control it all. Now, um, this is just a great little erector set, and of course, there's a lot of different ways you can put it together. Now, this is on, an, on, a, on a DSLR. Uh, you can also put this stuff with lens adapters. I haven't talked much about that, but that gives a 35 millimeter uh, footprint for the image. 
uh, that then a small chip can see, so you get, you get that nice short depth of field. Here's the new M3. This is a preview that we're seeing here. Um, so this is the M3. A lot of times you, you kind of needed an engineering degree to put a Red Rocks uh, adapter on. It was just there was a lot of little pieces and all these things, and there was dust that could get in. And, and so this is a, a vastly improved version. Uh, and so this is going to let you. Uh, this is a, this is a little. This is an EX1 like what we're shooting this with right now. Uh, and uh, but this is going to attach to a regular lens. You've got, of course, again your matte box with your filters. Uh, and, and the whole rigging, if you come over here, you can see uh, another little arm, so you, you really have a nice display with this Marshall display. So all of this stuff gets all kind of attached together. Again, this is taking these little cameras and making them into something big, and, and, and we're just seeing more and more and more of this happening, and it's just really exciting for the independent filmmaker. Once again, this is Red Rocks Micro.